Do you have what it takes to be an astronaut? Today, we're going to put you to the test to see if you have the skills to do one of the coolest jobs in the universe. Today, we're going to be testing to see your capabilities of being an astronaut. Okay, your very own astronaut outfit. I would love to put it on. My name is Carly Noon and I'm an astrophysicist. I've recruited a group of wannabe astronauts to help show you how the tests are done. <laughs> how good are you at remembering things that you've seen? Astronauts need to be really good at recognising visual things such as faces and objects. They also need to remember what the objects are and why they're important. Here's how you can test your visual perception. So how would you rate your memory? My memory used to be amazing when I was a kid, but I'm not sure how good it is now that I'm an adult. <laughs> I feel like my short-term memory is pretty good. My long-term one, not so good. I can't remember what I had for lunch yesterday. <laughs> now it's your turn. Some objects are going to appear on the screen and you need to try and remember as many as you can, but no cheating, no screenshotting or writing them down. Astronauts are honest. Houston, start the countdown. The time starts now. Thirty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. All right, let's see how you did. Coolies. Are you able to tell me objects that you remembered? Okay, yes. Apple, flower, flag, corn, earth, book, a ball, a bell, a cat, a dog, a magnifying glass. Kind of made up a little story in my head to sort of remember all of them. So it was sound the bell because it is my cat's birthday with the balloons um, and he will eat apple cake with his best friend, the dog, who was a scholar, so the books and the glasses. Um, we were going to the forest in a garden with the, so trees with the flowers um, and it was a fire truck birthday. How many did you get through? Nine. Thirteen. Sixteen. Uh, I got sixteen. What you used is actually a, a memory trick ah, cool. uh, called Memory Palace. So another technique you could have used is called chunking, where you mm. group objects and categorise them. Great, that's it. Sweet. In space, astronauts need to process large amounts of visual information quickly, whilst also judging what information is important and what's not. 